Hey, thanks for stopping by for another story. I have a fun story to, for you today um, about the from the Berenstain Bears. Uh, it's called The Big Honey Hunt, and this is by Stan and Jan Berenstain. And I don't know if you've listened to these stories before, but Papa Bear usually gets into some shenanigans, if you know what I mean. So let's see what happens here. The Big Honey Hunt. We ate our honey. We ate a lot. Now we have no honey in our honey pot. Go get some honey. Go get some more. Go get some honey from the honey store. We will go for honey. Come on, small bear. We will go from hunt for honey. And I know where. The store. She said, get, th get it there. Not at the store. Oh no, small bear. If a bear is smart, if a bear knows how, he goes on a honey hunt. Watch me now. How do you hunt it? How, Dad, how? If a bear knows how, if a bear is smart, he looks for a bee right at the start. Bees hide their honey in trees that are hollow, so we will find a bee to follow. Is that a bee? He went buzz, buzz. He looks like a bee. Why, yes, he does. We will follow that bee. We will follow that bee. We will follow that bee to his honey tree. That tree. Is that a honey tree? It looks like one, so I know it's one. Sit down, small bear, and watch the fun. Small bear, you watch your smart old dad take out more honey than you ever had. Are you getting honey? Are you getting a lot? Will we take it home in our honey pot? That is not a honey bee. That was not a honey tree. The bee, the bee, there goes the bee. On with the honey hunt. Follow your pup. Your pup will find honey at the very next stop. We will follow and follow and follow along I will find a new tree, and I won't be wrong. Is that a honey tree? How do you know? Well, it looks just so, and it feels just so. Looks so, feels so, so it's so. Now watch, small bear. I'm about to take that good old honey out. How are you doing? Are you getting a lot? Are you getting much honey? Or are you not? Uh-oh. I don't think he's getting honey from that tree either. <gasps> wrong kind of tree, wrong kind of tree. Look, Dad, there goes our friend the bee. On with the hunt, I will not rest. I will follow that bee to his honey nest. When a bear is smart, when a bear is clever, he never gives up, and I won't, ever. Dad, is that a bee tree there? I know it is. Why, yes, small bear, I, it can't be wrong like the last tree was. Only a bee tree goes buzz, buzz. Are you getting honey? Are you doing well? Or is something wrong? I smell a smell. Uh-oh, <laughs> bad news again. <laughs> Wrong kind of tree, wrong kind of tree. The bee, the bee, I see the bee. They're gonna 
get into their canoe. Um, if you want to get honey, there is just one way. You must follow your bee if it takes all day. If a bear is smart, if a bear is bright, a bear keeps going if it takes all night. He went in there, your friend the bee. He went in there. Is this our tree? Now let me think, now let me see. This looks just like a honey tree. And it feels just like a honey tree. And it goes buzz, buzz like a honey tree. And it tastes just like a honey tree. And so you see, this tree must be, must, must, must be a honey tree. I never saw more honey, never. Now don't you think your dad is clever? I think you are very clever, Dad, but your friends, the bees, are very mad. But Dad, you left your honey there. It was not the right kind I want, small bear. I will get you honey. I said I would, but that bee's honey was not too good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Where are you going to find the honey? Here in the water? Now that seems funny. <laughs> Look at there in there, just their noses. Now we won't, f no, we won't find honey in here, small bear, but soon, very soon, I will show you where. When the bees have gone, we will get along too. Your dad is smart and he knows what to do. But how will you do it, Dad? How, Dad, how? What do you think? The best sort of honey never comes from bees. It comes from a store. I would like some, please. <laughs> and that is the end. And this tells a lot about the authors, Stan and Jan Berenstain. So I think I'll read this to you a little bit. It's kind of interesting. Stan and Jan Berenstain began writing and illustrating books for children in the early 1960s when their two sons, Michael and Leo, were young readers themselves. They lived on a hillside in Bucks County, Pennsylvania, a place that still looks a lot like bear country. They could see deer, wild turkeys, rabbits, squirrels, and woodchucks through their studio window almost every day, but no bears. The bears lived inside their hearts and minds. Sadly, Stan and Jan are no longer with us, but their sons are, and they are working hard to keep the legacy fresh. With more than 200 books in print, along with videos, television shows, and even Bernstein Bears exhibits at major museums. It's hard to tell where the bears end and the Berenstains begin. They are some of my favorite authors. They always have fun stories to tell. And um, did you know that if you eat some honey every day, local from your local area, if you're suffering from allergies, it can help your allergies to get better and maybe even go away. So I hope you're able to go on a a honey hunt at your local farmer's market or in your local grocery store and find some good honey to enjoy and it's healthy and good and so yummy and sweet. So anyway, thanks for stopping by and listening to this fun story about honey and um, I hope to see you again next time. Bye-bye.